General Motors, Ford, and Stellantis workers are now on strike. 12 News, Morgan Gill got an update from chairperson at UAW Local 2402 after last night's strike. For the first time in American history, the United Auto Workers Union is striking against the big three automakers at the same time. Local union leaders say the companies collectively made record profits this year. Now workers say they want their fair share. And as our demands are not met, he's going to add, say, every three days, every three to five days, he's going to add more plants to it. So eventually, all of us probably will end up on the strike line if they're not willing to give in to any of our demands. The UAW is fighting for a four-day, 32-hour work week, 40% raise, and reversing concessions made during the 2008 recession. And uh, we're fighting for the temps, uh, not for them not to hold them so long. For some reason, we, we thought we had this uh, buried and, you know, on, on the last strike in 2019 that we had with the temps, but they're still trying to hold them for two years. We want them to be um, hired in at their 90 days, and uh, we want them to have a good pay. They're starting them out like $16 an hour. That is totally unacceptable for a Fortune 500 company. Chairperson of UAW General Motors says workers have been there for nearly 17 years and have never received a raise. We want everybody that's working side by side to be able to get the same pay. For instance, you might be making $16, somebody else might be making $38. $38. If you're making the same thing, you're doing the same thing I'm doing, that's going to cause a rift between employees. I mean, why not pay them the same? Thomas and other workers say they deserve more than what they're getting. Morgan Gill, 12 News.